Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. So I've got some really exciting news coming up for 2020. I'm converting all brass valves to stainless steel. And uh, from my experience, with about a seven foot head pressure coming into one of these brass valves, it will last about one to one and a half years before it starts to uh, wear out. In a typical year, a ram pump will cycle about 31 million times. So that's a lot of movement for this brass valve. I have uh, tested out a stainless steel valve for five months and I saw no signs of wear, not even discoloration in the valve. So I anticipate that the stainless steel valve is going to last for five years or more. Very excited to be upgrading like this. But there is one downside to improving the valve quality, and that is the flapper is heavier than in the brass valve. So it's going to require more water to close this valve, and today I want to find out what that new volume is going to be. So let's uh, head over here to the bucket where I'm going to be filling up five gallons and then I will be using a half inch pump. I'm going to test out first the amount of water it takes to um, run this valve. Basically I'm going to time uh, the bucket and see how long it takes to empty five gallons with the um, brass valve and then move over to the stainless steel and uh, just see the uh, difference in time it takes to drain the same amount of water. So let's get to it. Here's the setup. Five gallons of water coming down 40 feet of PVC drive pipe, half inch, goes down to the half inch ram pump. Now the uh, amount of water that the pump uses when the delivery pipe is closed versus when it's open is uh, definitely going to be different, but I'm just going to get a basic idea of how much water this pump is going to use with the delivery pipe closed. So the actual amount of water that it's going to consume will be more when the delivery pipe is open. Now keep in mind, as the uh, head pressure changes, we've got a, about three feet right now. Um, if you were going to use, say, ten feet, the pump would actually be a bit more efficient than the lower head pressure. But let's find out what the brass valve uses. I'm anticipating around the one and a half gallons per minute. Um, but with this setup, it may be plus or minus a little bit. Let's find out. In both tests, I'm going to prime the pump so that it is at least uh, going before I begin the actual test. Okay. So I'm just going to basically get this thing going on its own first. Make sure there's no air in the pipe. I'm just going to hold this down to make sure here. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. It's easy on these straight pipes. Okay, so the pump is primed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and fill our bucket to the uh, top and do a timer. Okay, I'm simply just going to open this valve and start the timer here. And we're going. So this is going to be very boring for you. The results are what we're really after here, so I'm going to speed this up real quick. Getting close here. I just heard a gulp in the bucket. We are at three and a half minutes here on the stopwatch. Okay, I'm gonna reset the pump here. First of all, we're going to swap out this brass valve for the stainless steel. Earlier I said that the downside to having the stainless steel valve was that it's heavier. And uh, there's actually a positive side to that. Because it's heavier and requires more water to close the valve, it's actually going to be able to push water higher uh, up a hill. So it's actually not a negative. It just means that it requires uh, a bit more head pressure to get the valve to close. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this primed while our bucket is filling back up. Okay, I've reset the bucket. One thing I had not noticed is that on this smallest, the half inch valve, the flapper doesn't quite stick out as much as it does on the brass on the inside. So I have angled it slightly off to the side to allow that flapper to open just slightly enough to be caught by the water. Um, definitely something I'll have to uh, consider and put in my write up for this small pump. The uh, one and a quarter that's out in the creek, it operates uh, flawlessly because the flapper sticks down a little bit more in here. I'll show you that closer in just a bit, but let's get a, a gallon per minute here. Getting real close to the bottom of the bucket here. Okay, we are at three minutes and 30 seconds once again. Um, that's because the valve was tilted off to the side a little bit, which I think is gonna be required here on this style valve. Um, and it does reduce the potential a little bit. So we'll have to do a, a PSI test later. But um, what I'm thinking is, sure, it's, it's tilted over some, so the efficiency is reduced, but also it's hitting harder, so it increases the uh, pressure. So we'll have to see if it comes out equal or not. Let's go ahead and drain this. Still building up lots of pressure, which is a good thing. So it turns out with the half inch valve, they actually consumed about the same amount of water, um, five gallons in three and a half minutes. Uh, so um, that's good news. But uh, let me show you real quick we can step in the shop so you can see what's going on with the uh, the new stainless steel valve versus the old brass one. Okay, check this out. With the brass valve, if we close it, I'm going to hold it closed here. See the uh, the flap and how it has that gap between um, here and, and here. So this gap right in here. That's what allows water to catch it and close it. So if you move to the new valve here, um, that gap piece is in there, right in here, but it's not as visible as the uh, the brass. So um, what I was doing is tilting it a little bit, and that allows it to close some by gravity. Um, so that's what I was having to do to get it to operate, which is sad. Let me go get a bigger valve and show you what it's supposed to do. So here we've got the massive one and a quarter. So if I close that valve, you can see in there that it's already got a bigger gap to catch the water as it goes in. So not a game changer, but annoying with this small valve here. So later on, I'll be doing a PSI test in this same setup to see if we are reaching the same uh, pressure with the two valves. Um, I do think though, even if you have to lose maybe a little bit of potential with this stainless steel valve, it's gonna last for years longer than this one. Um, and I'm keeping the price the same on the pumps, so I am still pleased with the decision to uh, swap over. Now, I looked inside of the other valves, the three quarter inch, the one inch, and the one and a quarter, and the clearance that you saw on this smaller valve is, um, I guess, tighter. Uh, so those valves close much easier with the same uh, amount of water. So anyway, thank you for watching. I will continue to test and improve the stainless steel valves, and we will uh, have a good 2020 season. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.